Echo today. That will be cool. <laughs> beautiful population one people thank you for joining me today as we get started on one of our population one builder interviews you guys see i have a special interview here in front of me uh we'll go down and see the man of the hour in just a moment uh first wanted to remind you guys when you stroll in here if you feel comfortable to say hello in chat feel free i'll try and keep up as you guys are in here and if you want to lurk even better, my lurkers are uh, what makes the numbers. So uh, thank you also for being here. I am live on Facebook, Twitch, and Kick for this interview. Twenty-four pack and the beer. most important part Said. of these is to share out hey, the content. Hey, Tipsy. What's up, 24 Taffy pack? underscore dragon What's underscore VR. Thank Said. you guys for being here. Yo. <laughs> Waiting as you guys kind of stroll in, we're going to... Fly down over this beautiful city down here and find our interviewee. So, uh, let's see here. I've heard there's been some issues with uh, the network today for some people, uh, the servers, and I hope that that is not you or anybody watching. So, hopefully you guys all get that fixed and back up so we, we can all play together. But right now, we're going to get started. Uh, we are here to do an interview with one of our sandbox builders, Space Team. And here we are. Going to go down and find him. This is a beautiful city. Here we are. Woo. Space What's Team. Up? Hello. How you doing? What's going on? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? It's a Friday, I, I'm right? In, yeah, I'm enjoying life. You know, just yeah. played a couple games. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually just got off of work literally a minute or two ago, and uh, it was a really quiet day at work. So, I mean, knock on wood, that means we're going to have a beautiful weekend and everybody's going to enjoy themselves. <laughs> yeah. so, um, exactly. We've got some great questions lined up for you today. We're going to be traveling through some of your builds, uh, maybe have you teach me a thing or two, and uh, really just kind of uh, explore your content that you've created for Population One. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Cool. Okay. Well, we're just going to dive right in. Um, and uh, one of the questions that I, uh, I don't ask, ask too often of you guys is uh, about your name, your gamer tag. I'm curious, how did you come up with Space Team? Yeah, so Space Team, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, and Space mm -hmm. Team is actually this hilarious sci-fi audiobook. Um, and it's, it's got like, I think, seven books or seven, seven or eight books now. And it's just hilarious, and it's some one of those books I will literally laugh out loud listening to. And and that's um, the so yeah. the image you gave to me for the interview today. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. it, it's Perfect. just it's just like the it's all these characters. Like there's a wolf lady, there's a robot, there's a guy from <laughs> Earth. There, it, it's just it's it's pretty funny all the adventures they get into. And and even better, it's an audio book. So for those of you that. Uh, have a distaste for reading or maybe your eyes are just too sore after a full day of sitting at the computer you can listen to it so even better <laughs> all right yeah, for sure we're gonna dive into our interview questions and we're gonna start with uh where are you located i'm in gainesville florida florida how's the weather in florida today 
it's actually pretty nice. I mean, we've kind of had a dry spell, but it's been raining here, here and there, which, you know, is appreciated. Okay. Well, I've been to Florida before and uh, I have naturally curly hair. And uh, whenever I go to Florida, uh, I can pretty much guarantee that I'm going to have a giant bush on my head at the end of every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah humidity is a problem for hair. <laughs> That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. I, I don't claim myself as one of the crazy Floridians, I would say that. I'll put that up. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Um, what do you do for a living outside of playing and building in this beautiful game? Yeah, so I'm a part owner in like a kitchen uh, bathroom remodeling business. We install, you know, high-end kitchen cabinets and stuff. Really? All right. Yeah. I happen to know somebody else who's a builder that does some cabin uh, cabinetry as well. Hmm. Oh, really? Nice. <laughs> uh, awesome. Let's see here. Uh, how long have you been playing Pop One? I, I see that you've got uh, Millie Defiant on. Is that any indication of uh, Arms Reach underscore early years in Pop One? Said. Yeah. You so I I got the Oculus Two right when it came out, and then I think. Population one came out a couple months after, and I think I joined like two months after. Illic they came three out PL and, three Z. Uh, mm -hmm. Just kind of slowly Zed. been. I I don't I don't. Yep. I play consistently every night, but I I'm not like you know trying to get as high rank as possible. I'm just kind of you know taking it easy, enjoying okay. life. Okay, very good. Uh, and and what level are you currently? I'm like a quarter way to 60, I, I would say. Yeah. Okay, not bad. 60. All right. You spend a lot of your time in a uh, building, I'm uh, presuming, just by looking at your builds that I've seen across the board. Uh, do you get a lot of time for gameplay as well? Yeah, so I love building. Um, one thing I've done with Pop 1, actually, I don't play a ton of squads. I've... <laughs> I, I would say I mostly play custom rooms, and there's mm -hmm. there's an adult group I play with every single night, and it's kind of nice. We have a good group of people, and we literally come on around, you know, like 9.30 Eastern Standard Time and play until about 10, 11 o'clock. So oh, I get nice. in every night. Okay. Yeah. Well, you should be done in time uh, after this interview to uh, join right up with your group then. All right. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, I'm curious. Do you ever find any time to uh, watch other Population One players on stream? And if you do, do you have a favorite streamer? I would say it's you because <laughs> this I actually... builder group has <laughs> just like got the right answers. Jeez. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, no, well, so I, I, I don't. I haven't watched a ton of streamers. I'll see like you know some interesting like post about a certain like what they did in the squad that day and I'll, I'll kind of watch it to so watch some like funny pin drop in and stuff shenanigans we've adopted uh, you. but yeah I've, I've been watching a few years so I actually I'm getting into it it's nice very cool oh thanks arms reach <laughs> I like being adopted into groups that's awesome <laughs> I seem to fit in just about anywhere <laughs> yeah. even with the squeakers I... man whoo <laughs> I don't know why they like me <laughs> yeah. too I, I think I sound like a 15 year old boy sometimes. Um, some people actually think <laughs> really? I'm a 15 year old. So. Yes. Um, I mean, when you know I'm female, then my voice sounds female. But when you don't know and you're just in a random lobby and you hear my voice, I do sound like an adolescent boy. So, um, yeah, sometimes I get that. It's fine. So when you get excited, you start to more cowbell. I know. I know. <laughs> Said, uh, nice. I'm late. You're not late, more Space Cowbell. Team we sweet. are just getting started. He already talked all the mad stuff about you, and uh, you won't even know what he said. Yeah, Jesus, so. he's mm -hmm. in here. Damn it. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. We already disclosed every all, all of his secrets and everything. So he yeah, just joined. So sure. we're, we're good now. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to get into some building. Uh, how long have you been building? And um, were you a part of the early testing? No, I wasn't a part. That would, that would have been fun. It sounds like they had a great time learning, you know, the whole process of that. But no, actually, I, I had some family stuff come up. So I took a break from Pop One. And I came back in, and I was like, what is this sandbox? It was literally the day I came back in. I think it was like a couple of days after they released it. 
and I like joined a gr- uh, a custom room, and the guy that built it actually was in there. I think it was like Boba Fat or something. I was like, "How did you do this?" And he's like, "You can build now." And I just like immediately exited the room because <laughs> so I was like, "No freaking way!" <laughs> this was and Space I, Team. I, I, <laughs> you can build now. Oh, yeah. oh no, because I, I saw where VR was going. I'm like, if I can create my own reality and build it, I'm I'm totally in. So awesome. I was I I. I you, you know, there was kind of a learning curve because I didn't understand all the. Mad there was no really tutorials. So I, my first build, I didn't said, even know about the grid and how you can unclick hey, that and like. Oh, I'm still you know, learning slightly that. Slightly move things. <laughs> yeah. So, I was in a so, room so last there- night trying to build, learning some of your guys's techniques you've been teaching me, and uh, yeah. I was like, "All oh, right, snap, unsnap, or oh, 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 right, rotate." And that, you know, I learned quite a few things from you guys already. So, like, I just absolutely applaud your intelligence of the building level of this. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, it, it's a learning process, and then you see like. You kind of like see what other people are doing and you kind of think like, how did they build that? And you start to see like, okay, they use the shape and, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's fun seeing what people can do. You know, hats off to a lot of those builders are, you know, I'm, I'm okay, but I, I would say, I would say I, 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 I think about like what would be fun in pop one. Cause obviously like it's, you know, you can fly, you can climb, you can do other stuff than other buildings. So I try to like keep that in mind when I'm building. So visually, I don't think I do the best maps, but I think, you know, I try to focus on playability for okay. sure. Playability. Like that, that's that's probably my number one thing okay. like, is playability. Is this going to be fun to play? <laughs> well, I want to say hi to folks in chat on Kick Facebook and Twitch. Uh, we've got uh, twenty four pack beer. We've got Taffy Dragon Arms Reach. I like pies. What's up, girl? Uh, we've got Cowbell and Mad Daz and all of those lurkers in there. Michael, hello on Facebook. We had a couple of other lurkers hanging out in there. I haven't seen More who you are yet. 520. Don't be afraid to say hello. And if you don't want to say hello, that's okay. My lurkers Playability. are a great numbers. I like so the cut of this guy's jib. And uh, yeah, as you guys roll in, make sure the most important piece of these streams is to share the content. Find somebody to bring in here with you and remind people if they are missing it. What's up, Space Uh, Team? Let's keep going. So I was going to say, Space, um, I was in a room last night, like I was saying, and you know what I did? Um, I took as many pieces as I could and I flattened them as much as I could and then flattened them the other way as much as I could uh, just to find out if they made a special shape or something I didn't know existed because uh, I was absolutely dumbfounded to see the uh shields and uh like cups that were the exact exact same shape just uh stretched one different way um and so like that's what i did last night was i went in and i stretched and i angled and i shaped everything to see if it made something new oh yeah that's awesome it's awesome mm-hmm. when you figure something out like that yeah I, um I, 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 oh, go ahead. so you kind of mentioned that uh you know, you were excited when you heard about building in VR. Uh, have you ever played any other building games that you can compare Sandbox to? No, I haven't. You know, I played I, when I was younger. I was in Nintendo and got into Halo and 007 yeah. and all those. But then I, I took a break. Like, I would, I would come back to, you know, Call of Duty every once in a while. Uh, but I took a break. You know, the only the only thing I have familiar I just researched, I never played it, but it was Fortnite, you know, like I, I kind of looked into their builder platform, like, wow, they have some really cool assets. So like, I'm, I'm excited to see what Sandbox does because mm-hmm. like if they start to incorporate more, like, you know, some, some of their like water areas where it looks like reefs and stuff and it's clear, like look awesome. So I'm excited to see if like Sandbox, you know, incorporates some of what they have. Okay. You know. Uh, and you also mentioned uh, your inspiration for builds. You like to stick on the playability side. What makes you decide uh, how you're going to design your room? And while you answer this, I'm going to go into fly mode and just kind of check out this map. So what inspired Yeah, so, so I, like, when I first came in, I didn't really understand playability. You know, I was just used to playing other TDM maps, but I didn't really take that into account. So, like, my first builds was, like, the space one, and then I did Ewok Village, and then um, for the competition, I did uh, Temple of Doom. 
And those I made visually pleasing, but I, I, I didn't quite understand playability at that much and like what, you know, how big a map should be for TDM. Mm -hmm. So after a lot of feedback, and I love feedback, like when someone's like, I hate this map, I'm like, oh man, <laughs> tell, tell, tell me why and like how can I make it better? Like I, I live for that. A lot of people don't really have any suggestions, but when they do, I'm like, I, I usually try it out. I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a try, man. Um, <laughs> Very good. So I, yeah, so I started to focus on like Neon Knight. I, I would say it's my most refined map mm -hmm. uh, because I really took into account playability. And I, like you'll start to notice in a lot of my maps where I kind of make, where there's not an advantage, like no one has the upper advantage where they spawn. So like I like Neon Knight's a perfect example of that. Like I literally copied both sides. So you, no one can be like, you have a better side than us. That's why I won. So <laughs> uh, so I try to focus on that. Like visually, it may not be as pleasing as making everything different, uh -huh. but it makes for playability a little bit better. Okay. Uh, do you build solo uh, by yourself? Do you like to build with others? Do you pull people in to help you? Uh, I mostly build uh, by myself. Um, I, I did a map with Searways and Hidden Crow, the pirate battle map, and that was a lot of fun. That, that was like, that was the first time I kind of, you know, we kind of all, like me and Hidden Crow were doing small details, and then uh, Searways did an amazing job building the boat from scratch. So, um, you know, there was that. And Searways helped me, like, with the Neon Night Horn. So not not a whole lot. Um, but yeah, I'm mostly building by myself, okay. which is kind of like a meditation for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, music, drinks, anything like that? Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't drink a ton. I mean, I'll do Moscow mule occasionally. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, just tea. I drink lots of tea. <laughs> me too. Love tea. I'm a tea um, fanatic. Yeah. Do you ever listen to music to get you going or keep you going? No, oh, it's funny. Cause I, always you know i always think i'm like god i should listen to something but i always forget i just kind of get in the zone mm -hmm. uh, but occasionally yeah, i'll put on some tunes um but yeah i, I mean you're not the first one that's told me that uh you think about playing some music and then you just start getting into it and then you just don't <laughs> yeah right yeah i know it. <laughs> uh it'd be nice to have some music in the background but then then you're like i don't know just one more piece of less focus. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, what about, let's see here. Uh, describe the learning curve for new builders. Uh, what is it going to look like for them when they enter Sandbox and they're like, what is this menu and why is there nothing here to work with? Yeah, you just got to practice. Like, it, like if, if I were them, I would go around to other rooms and then... Just kind of see, like, you know, hey, is that a square they use to stretch out? Is that a circle? Like, um, and even, you know, I, I don't have anything, problems with assets. Like, I, I try not to use a ton of assets and build from scratch, but if it plays well, you know, like, have them, like, hey, like, see what you can do with assets for, for, on your first map. See if you mm -hmm. can, you know, make a small TDM that plays well and then kind of move on there, start doing shapes and yeah, it's really just about experimenting. I, I think there, Olaf, there's a guy that's done some tutorials, which I would say, you know, maybe check out his YouTube channel. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just, I just got in and just started messing around with shapes. When I started seeing people like create, you know, I was telling people like create these things when I did my first map. I'm like, how did you do that? They're like, you just do shapes. I'm like, what? Yeah. You just use shapes to I create some of this I had the same reaction. I totally same reaction. I was like, no. Like, way. I'm still blown away by, like, <laughs> Ask Clown. Like, his, like, 007 map, how he did, like, the temple on the outside. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I still am like, that's it's very complex. And I don't know. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> and I'm noticing all of you builders have, Green like, Dragon, your own one little underscore mix, VR. Like, your own little um, Said. abilities to make something Hello, fabulous. Hello, Tipsy Trixie. So, how are you? Have you guys ever done, like, a map where all of you together and you were all doing like the same map have you ever done that as a group uh i think they they might have um but i i know we've done a remix map where we had like we do like mm -hmm. competitions i'm sure you've heard about that some of yep. our competitions yeah. but um I, I i know i know i'm pretty sure they a lot of them have like worked together and built things okay. 
and you know i know i know they're all very helpful a lot of those top builders are very helpful and help people like we'll build something that someone can't build so mm-hmm. arms reach it's, it's nice uh, what's up green dragon said uh it makes me think of before like, we went live that we had a little build a thon hosted by more it was cowbell like, you passed around a piece of paper and um, you drew a picture on it. Illic 3 pl And then you passed it to the person next to you. Thanks um, for subscribing. Thanks for the subscribe. Woohoo! Pause! Woohoo! Um, pa, pa, pa. <laughs> <laughs> so you passed your picture on to the next person and they added onto it. And they did it all the way around the table. And then at the end, you would have a full picture. Um, I'd just be curious if you guys started in a blank room. And you listed out everybody in order, and you were given the same amount of time to build. And then at the very end, everybody goes into that map to see all of the additions. How cool that would be. I mean, the last person would know what it looks like, but uh, imagine being like the first or second person and all the things that you would see. More oh, yeah. 520. That would be cool. <laughs> said, yeah, it reminds remind me like of, we've all um, said it, I know Weller. But we really do need to did, do another like, build a thon. Uh, like whoever Taffy won the competition they like split VR. up their maps into like four little areas said, yeah. and they were obviously existing That's maps a great but it, idea. It, it was cool to see that come together so yeah that would be pretty neat to do something like that mm-hmm. i agree I'm a very artistic person, so I always think of things that are, like, magnificent, and uh, then people have to kind of bring me down to being practical. <laughs> so <laughs> what I say it. may not always be, crazy. be possible. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you'll, I, I actually have a ton of maps because, like, so, like, our group that we play with, we like checking out new maps, and sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, there's a, pretty frequently there's new maps, um, but it, what I do is I'll go in like right before we play and I'll spend 30, 40 minutes on a map just to see what I can do. Mm-hmm. So like a lot of them, like from a build standpoint, that are, you know, they're not that great. But in terms of playability, some like sometimes I kept some of them published because some of them were like, you know, we have fun playing this, so keep this published. Said, mm-hmm. uh, so you'll build see some of that. Too. I have more complex maps and then some that are just like silly. Like I just kind of like, here, let me just throw this together really quick. Yep. So uh, if you were talking to somebody new who didn't know much about Sandbox, why should they explore Sandbox? Why should they try to build or play in Sandbox? Well, I mean, it's amazing. Like you literally can like create your own little reality. Like you're literally creating reality in a sense. And then you're having kids and adults play on it. Something that maybe they've never thought like just just creating like different forms of playability and stuff. It's so amazing in population one, especially because mm-hmm. you can fly and climb. So it's like, why wouldn't you want to? Like, I'm surprised there, I mean, there's like Waste of Fox and there's a couple kids out there building, but I'm really surprised there's not more kids out here just like killing it. Mm-hmm. Like they're really, they really do need to get into it. And hopefully, you know, some adults really kind of, you know, kind of help them out and motivate them to build. You know, I hope to. Yeah. Well, we're at the point of the uh, interview where I ask you to teach me something. But first, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about this map and uh, in what inspired you or um, tell me a little bit about like your thought in building this one. So this was actually I started this as a TDM in this like this. I... I don't know where the inspiration really is kind of like a drug lord kind of theme in the center, I guess. Okay. Um, um, and I kind of built it as a TDM map. Lady underscore and then they came out with Battery L. One. So I was like, well, let me Said, extend this out. Hey, and so I started making everything on the outside of the city. Okay. Um, but Battery L is really not taken off. So I'm just going to make it a TDM map. I just I put all the spawns in the center. So I'm hoping people stay in the Green center, Dragon, if they want to explore outward, VR. they can. Mm-hmm. Um, Said. But that, that's kind of just where Hi, this lady. came. I, I, kinda, I wanted these water canals where people could kind of sneak around. Because you can walk in the water and just get from one area to another. Oh, very I, cool. I like, I like sneaking up on people. Like, yep. I, I actually, I, I build some maps that are definitely sniper maps, but I do better in chaos. I, okay. <laughs> I thrive in chaos. I do better in chaos. <laughs> That's a good quote. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Well, um, show me how to build something or show me a builder's secret. Show me something that uh, I could be odd with uh, that maybe either a new builder Totem would love to know or that maybe Said. a... 
current builder Hello. would need to remember? Um, yeah, so I, I would say two things. Okay, maybe, maybe I can build, I'm trying to think of something I can build fast that won't take mm -hmm. up too much time. But even like, so these arched windows, you know, like, just to show someone how to do that. Cause you, yeah. you Tote inspires. You know, when you're doing, you're doing houses, said, you got to know how to do windows. Lady and, and Trixie, stuff. my fave pop um, one streamers. So, but also like, you know, like just really quick, like, so like this, you know, I think um, more cowbell did one like uh, Godzilla and I did one called Smallville. But just like think like, hey, this Green building Dragon, doesn't have one to be just big. VR. You can shrink these things Z. down, mm -hmm. you know. So just we like knowing how to scale things and like Lady really taking gaming assets and one. you know, if you can't build right Z. away with shapes, like why uh -huh. not just like are see you what you can do with favorite. the assets that are given. Okay. Um, but here, let me go to shapes really quick. Um, and with windows, like I don't have any like anything in between these windows. But if I do, uh, I can do that really quick. But I'll usually do the false cube so you can easily walk through the window, you know, because you don't want it to be hard to get through a window. That's the case. Tote inspires. Um, Said. Space. Yeah, like. We used to play some still, customs like, together. You know, I'm working on, like, being really quick about switching from, like, um, you know, the grid to no grid. Some mm -hmm. people are really quick at that. It's just like... Toto Inspires says, says hello. You guys used to play in some customs together. Oh, nice. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, I remember her. Yeah, I, I, I... Something about customs I just love because... I mean, one, especially our group of people, you don't get anyone there that's taking the game too seriously. Mm-hmm. But I, that's one thing I don't like about squads. Sometimes I get someone that just got so angry when they would lose. I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> Take some fun Enjoy out the it. game. <laughs> I experienced that during uh, rank mode. Um, it was hard for me to like it. I, I understand why it was so well liked by some. Well, a 107 me, underscore. Nobody wanted to play with me anymore because said, I was almost a guaranteed tipsy. just like a, I, I was a good Space medic. Space team you know? one. <laughs> yeah. I'm Let's a good see. medic. I'm okay. really good with nades. I'm really good with uh, loading you up when you're revived. But, uh, you know, I'm just an average player. So rank made it really hard. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can be the decoy. I, I would do that with Set. kids sometimes. Like, he's like, some yes, kids are like, I'm no good. I'm like, okay, that well, what are you going to do feeling. is you're going to go out there and be our decoy. Just walk out there and we'll find the person and kill them. <laughs> yep. Uh, that is what I am also good at is uh, walking out right Tote into the enemy. Totem <laughs> Said. Totally. <laughs> One yeah, lose. Sorry, Toto, got to go. Did you guys um, see all the, the yeah. shapes being shrank and uh, rotated, and now we have a nice little window frame. And these are from shapes yeah, this, we this is, currently This have. is the false cube. Mm -hmm. So you can walk through Totem this spires. and you can make it any texture. So that Said. comes in handy a lot. Space was a vibe mm -hmm. for sure. Um, I, just, I just did a we map need to do it again um, sometime. called false cube, where it's just walls that are false. So you can walk through every wall. Um, so it just creates a little bit different playing style. You can shoot anyone, but there's walls everywhere. Um, like I said, it, it's one of those things you have to mess around with. Like I'm not, I don't pretend or ever think I would ever be the best builder in here. <laughs> um, and there's probably some things I'm doing right now. They're like, what is he doing right now? Like he should be doing this. <laughs> We all build different uh, ways. If you saw me build this, you'd be like, ugh, I gotta go. <laughs> it would just be like, hmm, it's really late. Uh, yeah, dinner's ready. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, um, one thing, one thing that, um, and I'll show you my Ewok village one. Uh, one thing I learned in there is usually I'll big, I'll kind of build things big because mm -hmm. you can shrink them down. But one thing you want to know when you do that is if anything's too Tuffy small underscore when you try to shrink it down, VR. it won't shrink. Said. Right. Now I've um, done that before. We are all going unique. Yeah. So just something to keep in mind. I've never, I've never done building on the spot. It's pressing me out. <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. oh, <laughs> 
this is fine. You take your time in the in the time you need to do it. Yeah, true. I'll put it into perspective for you. If there's anybody that wants to learn how to build, it's important for them to see the slow steps and not somebody that just throws things together. Um, it really yeah. it it lets them know that they're not slow, that it does take time, that lining up things and taking a breath really Dirty does Monkey seventy eight. Said, yeah, and, and one one thing to look out for is for me especially here. a lot of the you know really good Came builders to see my nemesis is like to watch always the glitches. killing me. Because if you like lay over, but so does like some of these are laid right on top of each other, and mm -hmm. they'll start to glitch, and that can kind of be an eyesore for your eyes. Yeah. Um. So like a trick is to make it just slightly smaller, okay. so it doesn't glitch as much. Just, you know, I thought. I was doing that last night in my build as I was placing things on top of each other. It was like a light show. Everything was like <laughs> glitching so bad. I'm like, okay, new map. <laughs> Not <Yeah>. today. <laughs> Let's say you can just come in here and pick these colors. Dirty Monkey came to see you. It's 1 a.m. there, by the way. <laughs> All right, so you textured Thanks, it to monkey. make it look like you couldn't go through it, but uh, it is. Uh, let's see here, I'm down on the ground. Yeah, a little... Climb up here. He made it where it's a, a block that blocks that you can go through. So it looks like you can't then, go through, but you can. So it's always worth trying yeah, then, things on maps to see if you can go through them. A, a big thing in building too is like um, grouping things. Mm hmm. And like when I, you gotta, it's it's really tricky because it's like my um my robot my walker I did in um, Ewok Village I had to like group it and it but it's so many pieces so if you miss one thing then you're like oh crap and you have mm -hmm. to like find it. Do you um, want to take me there and show know, me? Yeah. So okay. when when I'm when I'm trying to group I I count out loud so like. I can see if the number's changing because sometimes mm -hmm. you'll click on something and it won't grab it. That's a great um, so tip that helps because me. Because sometimes you're grouping a lot of pieces. Thank you guys all for being here. Make sure you guys are sharing out the content. We're here with Space Team on Facebook, Kick, and Twitch. You guys are awesome. Look at these little guys. Tuffy underscore dragon <laughs> underscore VR. <laughs> They're said so cute. Little Ewoks. I count too. <laughs> yeah, Come that's what's fun 520. about building. Like you can bring these, said, you know, some themes to same. life and play in them. And I mm -hmm. find that so cool. Like I love Star Wars. Check so I'm like, out. I gotta bring this to life. I love that, you know, just Ewok Village. Like mm -hmm. that was like one of my favorite scenes in that movie. I recognize these things from Star Wars. This is cool. Yeah, so this isn't the size. Here. So I, I built this big and I couldn't shrink it. <laughs> that was uh -huh. like my first lesson. Totem so size. I just I was like, well, they work Said. big, so I just kept two of them it's big so cool and then made some small ones on the ground. I didn't know that about I had him. To like to remake it. Um, <laughs> but it, th this is a bigger map. Like I said, this isn't the best TDM map, but mm -hmm. you know, it's nice to have variety. So like instead of it just being chaos, you kind of come in here. You have snipers and stuff. And, uh, the rockets uh, do well on this one. What's like the hardest part about like building something like this that works, that is playable, or that uh, fits the theme you're looking at? What was the hardest thing? You know, like I, I would one function I wish they would add, and it's one of my things. I'm like, why don't they have this yet? Is to be able to mirror something. So when you're yes. building, like. If you want to like flip it to the other side, sometimes you can't because all you can do is flip it around. Yeah. So if they had like a mirror function where you just like grouped an area and you mirrored it, it would make building so much so much easier. Yes, very nice, yeah. great idea there. Yeah. Common ground yeah. gaming on Facebook. Yeah. If you guys aren't following his content, and you like horror, spooky looking games and stuff like that. You guys should be following Common Ground. As we're traveling around to all these awesome maps, thank you guys for checking these out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is probably my favorite map of mine. It's just, it for me, I, I like how it plays, at least with how I like to play. And mm -hmm. I kind of made it so it was like hard to 
spawn kill because you're kind of starting here and you have to go through the walls. Um, okay. And this was just, you know, I just mess around. Like, a lot of times, a lot of my maps are just, like, making a map and then just mess around with shapes. And I kind of had an idea around an arena, and I just started going at it. And then once I got half of it done, I was able actually to copy the other half. So this act this map was actually pretty easy to build. I once like I got this. This is, half uh, of it done. and it's the same on the other side. You were saying it's mirrored. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no there's no advantage to one side. It's completely the same. Yeah, I can but see. This would this uh, would be this my most very... liked map. Yeah, this is very playable. Um, I would like to play in something like this for sure. Okay. 24 um, pack beer. But yeah, you you, you saw I know you saw flip flop. This is fancy. Like that was one. That would, that's a bigger map. Like that's not it, I, I like a lot of the groups I play with sometimes are 12 versus 12, so sometimes mm -hmm. we need bigger maps to play. Well, maps. this one um this one fits my bill. So, um I could totally see me playing in this and like cussing somebody out over here for killing me and then someone over here totem spies. me. Um yeah. Said. <laughs> One yeah, that right. room's in that room. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with that. Uh, um, here, I'll take you. One shot to... magnums in the room. Are there one shot magnums in this room? So I need to make that. The problem is, I, I don't know if they fixed the problem, but you used to be able to do like, it, you know, in world loot, you're able to like take away. But yeah, there, there's been a glitch where you haven't been able to do that. So you have to tell everyone like, don't grab any of the other guns, which doesn't really work. Oh yeah, uh, a lot, a lot of time. <laughs> so hopefully they fix that. Okay. Um, this next map, th this was just me messing around, and you know. <laughs> I saw this one. It reminds me so much of my ball pit too. This is cool. Well, you have guys. the ball. Which one do you have? Um, which which one's yours? I have yours? the um, ball pit of horror. It's got hypodermic needles and band aids oh. and stuff. Pee pee puddles and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've you seen know, that one. You, yeah, I realize that was to, you. Yeah, when you go to McDonald's and you have uh, all of these uh, horrific ideas in your brain about what's actually in the ball pit for the kids back in the days when they did the ball pits. And so that's kind of yeah. what I built it on. Now, I'm a super beginner builder, so everything in there, I mean, the balls look great. And I think the uh, like the enclosed cage that they're in looks great, but all of my pieces look kind of funky. The barf puddle looks funny. Like I don't know, uh, they're very um, oh. beginner building look. So, <laughs> but uh, that's what this it, one reminds me of. I love this. <laughs> yeah. So, so this was one of those. You, I'll show you a few of my maps where it was literally like took me thirty minutes. Like you know, some of the balls aren't even aligned, but it just like. Right before our group, I just quickly had the idea to do it, and I just mm -hmm. came up with it. And then people were like, "I like this," so I'm like, "Okay, I guess I'll keep it." Mm -hmm. I actually had um, Lady Gaming come in when I was building mine, and uh, we went one ball at a time and made sure that none of them touched, so that none of them oh, were nice. bleeding in together. Because you know, you you make a pile of them, and then you copy them, and then you put them in, but you don't want them all to be the same copy of each other so you make a new pile and you copy that and put it in and you arrange them as such uh and yeah then you get pieces that get stuck together based on how you rotate everything so yeah i literally had uh, someone else come in and i checked every single ball to make sure that they weren't bleeding together <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome this is cool uh, okay yes yeah, so, so this is sharks with laser beams or you know austin powers so it was oh kind God, of like themed the after that. <laughs> um, so I, I just like that. That's a, so if you actually come down below the map, uh -huh. you'll see like I, almost every map I start off with just like coming up with ideas. So this kind of shows you where like balls, uh, king of balls came from. Mm -hmm. And then I, I just kind of like mess around with shapes. And then you know I started doing this above, and Totem it got too spies. far along. So I'm like, I guess I'll just Said. make this the map because I I've played put this too much one. work into it. Totem spies. We've got uh, Toto in here that said she's played it before. She I think likes this map. Nice. <laughs> nice. The lasers will kill you, but you have to hit your face into them. I think that's. Oh, they, I would, they I wish have it, like, a damage to them too, huh? They'll kill you when you fly. Yeah, them yeah. Them. Okay, yeah. that's Ask like, clown I VR. like that. Said <laughs> new dynamic. So every once in a while, every once in a while, you'll hear someone. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll hear someone like, the laser got me. I'm like, no. yes. <laughs> That's what I meant for. That's I, uh, I, Let I, me show you. So like Temple of Doom, um, I'll load up that one. Um, that one, I did a red P90 where you like fall to your death. Mm -hmm. And like people hated that, but for me, like I loved hearing people fall yeah. down. To the <laughs> sounds all, bad. Sounds e evil. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm like trying to find it because you got space team screen. here that's uh, giggling in the background when he hears everybody die. That was yeah. my plan. <laughs> 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 It's Temple of Doom. I mean, you, you, there's going to be booby traps. Oh, heck Five yeah. Five raiders yeah. from <laughs> Space Roach VR. Thanks for the raid, Space. Have <laughs> joined. Yeah. Those are my goat screaming, yeah, so, too. <laughs> so, so this one, like, I would say it's not the best playing map. Some people, like, dislike it. Trash Gamer, one, it is kind of weird. Three, so you have this, like, main two. area here. And then you, Thanks like, come here. There's, like, the train area. Tote Inspires. Where... Like well, the do, you, said, do you remember Temple of Doom? I absolutely do. I was just going to say, Tote inspires. Uh, in this room over here, said, I remember them like Space hiding Raid, let's somewhere. Go. Um, in the movie, they were like watching and hiding Yeah, I, th this was like right over here. So right uh -huh. here, I kind of made it. So they were like yeah. looking down. And I did the chain thing where they dropped the lady down. Uh-huh. Uh, down there. So th oh, this you can fall to your death it, like, if you want. This is legit, guys. This is exactly where she was, like, inside, all strapped in there and just stuck. <laughs> so if you come here, you'll fall to your death here if you walk, because that's a false cube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. He's got little skulls and stuff in here. <laughs> this is awesome. So, um, I mean, I like this map, but you were saying it's not uh, the most playable? Yeah, I actually, it was a lot bigger before because I had all these, like, I had, like, one area where the the team started and then, like, another area. And you had to go through all these tunnels to get to the main areas. Uh -huh. And it was a little confusing. And then people kind of, like, camped those areas. So I kind of, I X those from feedback. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I made it solo. So now it's solo. So if you come in here, the playability is a little bit better because everyone's just every man for themselves. Okay, um, get that. If you come in this little spiked room where I'm at, um, Woo! this is one of the scenes. And these things <laughs> will hurt you as well. Oh, and you added death to them as well. <laughs> uh. Perfect. <laughs> uh, thanks for that follow. I appreciate you being here, Space Roach. I'm actually interviewing Space Team. So uh, let's go space. <laughs> grab that P gra try to grab the P90. Oh! <laughs> it was a trick. It was tricky, me. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I completely fell for it too. Oh yeah. Okay. Now that I'm paying more yeah. attention, I can see the false floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I tried to make it a little obvious, so it wasn't uh -huh. completely. Well, well hater, 1981 didn't work for gaming. Me. <laughs> yeah. What's up, hater? Said. <laughs> what up, tipsy? And hello, this is kind hello. of the bridge area. Totem spies. All of their deaths in the gators. You got Said. gators. Yeah. Woohoo. Hash spaces unite. <laughs> Very cool. I but, like this. But it map. was fun to build. It, like it, it was. It was fun to create. You know, make the scene live, and you can actually like play in it. I thought that was always cool. Yeah. If you guys are an Indiana Jones fan, this is the map for you. Uh, it's got all of the bits and pieces that you guys uh, remember from the best parts of Temple of Doom. Um, especially the part where they're, you know, having their weird seance and uh, sticking the lady in the metal bars here and sending her down into the fire. Yay! <laughs> Nothing like a little Good. scary doom. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So this one, I don't know if you played a uh, Nintendo game. Oh, games? yeah. I'm a big Nintendo person. Nintendo before VR. Um, big Nintendo. All right. Ooh, so this one's there. pretty crazy, but I tried to do like every my favorite level of every level in Contra. Yeah. And kind of just like up, down, up, down, uh, left, right, it, left, right. Eight, yeah, eight, I need to put that into the description. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. Because uh, you run through the first level. Okay, run me through the first level. 
Where are we at here? Where's okay, so it always usually started off with like you were in this helicopter. Mm -hmm. So I built this helicopter, yep. and then you jump down. And you're like, Ugh! and there's like these things shooting at you. You're like, oh god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you know, I, I tried to create these I'm little having, characters. Like, serious flashbacks here. <laughs> Yeah, so, and then all these levels, I don't know, in the center, those are all different levels of the game. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, you know, they're not, these. like, completely accurate, but, the you know, I kind of made them so they'd play a little better. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how playable is this map? It, it's, you know, with every map, you're going to have people that are like, like, there's some people like, oh my god, like, if it was like their childhood game, they're like, this is my favorite map. And then you have yeah. some people like, I hate this with a passion. And, uh, you know, like, yeah. I, I have I have a thick stand. I'm like, it, you know, it, it's almost impossible to create a map everyone's going to love. Well, so you just... space team, you say that you build on playability, but you have some pretty magnificent artistic maps here. So I would say you're a very good blend of both. These are awesome. Okay, well, let me... Let me show you this map and let me see what you say after that. Okay. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Don't so, speak too much. <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking in terms of time on these maps? How long does it take you to build things like these? Uh, this some is of my the... favorite map. No. <laughs> Clock okay, my time on them. It's um, telling me to, to use so this. Yeah, I'm Totem's trying to think. I, I mean, some of them like said four or five days i can't okay. wait you know um but Earth, you know that's 000. like you know said four or five 24 hour days Your maps <laughs> so, are and, and i'm not like okay. the fastest builder well well maybe not that much i, I i'm trying to think I, I would say a good three days on a really complex map so, well you know. let me tell you this um when i when i was uh considering doing the builder interviews the one thing that I did do was go into Sandbox, which I do regularly, and I check out uh, the maps. And I feel out, you know, which ones really get me excited, which ones are super artistic, which ones are, like, fun to play. Um, and you had probably next to, um, when I, I ranked them out, you were in my top five. I believe you were number two or three in terms of my favorites. So... You were right up oh, there I in terms of that. like, and, and I'm like I said, I'm an artistic person. So like for me, I'm like this one is awesome. It's beautiful. It's cool. And I'm less a, a player, mm. um, but playability too. I can see like in some of these maps, they're very symmetrical and they would make easy play. So where am I going to go here when I hit this? Okay. Well, this just goes up here. Usually, I start a lot of my things where you start at the bottom. But this is Finding Waldo. Um, oh, so, it, so I did this as a joke, like, you know, with assets, you'll see. So I made these, you got to fly all the way up. You might want to turn up your fly speed if you know how to do that. Yeah. Um, um, I, I found out that I can't turn up the fly speed if I'm not the host in the room or like, Oh really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm almost there. No worries. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. So, everybody in so chat. this was a joke. Great. Remember, remember, <laughs> this is a joke. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wow. So, so well, it's hilarious in this map because you start in oh these tubes. Oh my and, gosh! And, and, and you come out, you come out, and people are just like, "What the hell? Like, are you kidding me?" But it's hilarious to hear people's like first initial thing. But HMR, the host that hosted our room, she loves this map, so she plays this all the time. So, <laughs> so people are like, so "What?" There's, there's a Waldo we in here, right? Oh, there's a few. Yeah, okay, so that, okay. that was kind of the idea. I just cluttered it so, you okay. know, you could find yep. the Waldo. There's Waldo. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. I do like this. <laughs> you but, know, but, you know, you it creates like not, a different this, bit. This, yeah, it's a new vibe. It, I like it. Yeah, it, it creates a little bit of different gameplay. And I think that's the cool thing about these builds is like, there's just so many ways you can like play population one and like mm -hmm. say this map definitely isn't for everyone. And even I'm like, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, it's not my favorite map, but, um, now, it's let me different, guess. You, you know? die if you hit the ground, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I yeah. would die nonstop here. Totem spires. <laughs> I would die. Said. Yeah. All the time. A lot, a lot of people like do that. Hobby. They're like, An God, experience. I just fell again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, my goodness. I'm, so this this one I'm I just started working on. So I like I just started messing around in this. I don't know where this is going. 
Okay. But this kind of gives you an idea of me just like kind of starting off, like getting a feel. Ch for, you know, yeah, yeah, like, like I, I, if you actually look at a lot of my maps, there, there's like a lot of treehouse themed, like or like, you know, walkways in big areas, which I like because you know you can fly around and you can like jump from one area to another. Mm -hmm. um, it's not for everyone, but I, that's personally, I, I like maps like that where they incorporate Dirty like monkey flying 78. and climbing. Mm -hmm. said i like it never knew space yeah, had so, we'll so many maps <laughs> well let's get to that question dirty monkey uh how many maps do you have i think 24 total okay and how yeah, many of them 24. published uh 15 so you can only have 15 right now so okay yeah and like i said a lot of them are like really simple like uh like yeah like i'll show you this one this one i created literally the other night and um it took me like totem like, spires he, he's like i just did this said, one the other night oh, yeah i had no idea yeah. <laughs> this is another one where you gotta climb up but yeah it, like so this wait is another it, silly one for it? but totem but like so a lot, a lot of the silly ones said, i unpublish and then like when so i cool. create a better map very I, fun so, it's just this. <laughs> <That's all> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but that, that, that's the thing. It's not, it's not great, but some people have fun. That, that's why I always say, like, kids, like, like, there's some kids that will build a map. They'll put two buildings in, and it does, the playability is not great. Where this, this actually, when we played it with the group, it actually played fairly well, because you could jump to different yeah. areas and stuff. Yeah. From um, a ship so to I would ship, say, and you can reach and climb. Yeah, I can see this being playable, very playable. Yeah, so so, so I would say with kids, like just start off and think about like, hey, what, what can I make that's really easy that would actually play well in Pop One? Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be like super complex. Just something like silly can sometimes play well. You just never know. Uh, what would you uh, like to see added in terms of assets or you know? Um, we're talking like features. Yeah, so definitely, like I mentioned earlier, the mirror function mm -hmm. would be awesome. I'm sure other people, other builders have mentioned it, but like be able to manipulate like circles and squares more. Like, mm -hmm. like for instance, like when you have, um, let me see, Th this I think kind of sucks that you can't do this, but so say this, you scale this up it gets thicker. So there's no way to like make that thinner, mm -hmm. you know? So if it had another way where you can make that, that, you know, the thickness of it smaller, that would come in handy so much. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so I would say to be able to like manipulate shapes more and then just clear water would be awesome. Like that actually looked like water. Yeah, and, I would like a water uh, sound and like a tall grass sound. Yeah. That would, that, yeah, just just like to have stuff that moves, like in that uh, desert fortress, like if the train could actually move, like that would be a game changer. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't know when they would ever add that. That would be <laughs> probably pretty far out. Um, um, do you have any maps you want to show me with like lots of secrets, hidden weapon uh, weapon rooms, and things like that? More uh, cowbell Temple five twenty has some of those. Do you said, have any others that are really water like, sound would heavy be awesome. in those secrets? Yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I I I will do like one or two areas, but I don't I'm trying to think if I like I, I have you know, with the map sometimes I have to think like, did I put a secret area mm -hmm. in there? Um those are the well, things I like to find. <laughs> well I, I you found it in um what was it? Flip, flip, let's go there really quick. Um, flip up. I get placed on a team in these, and uh, you can pretty much count on me not being a killer. I'm going to be hunting around the map for secrets. <laughs> okay, like, oh, well, I'll start man. adding more of that. I got teamed with Tipsy. Great. <laughs> yeah, I, I did a I Am I, Dirt I, interview here. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I would say, I would say ask. Ass Clown is amazing at hidden. Like he, I'm sure he showed you around some of his maps. All oh, his yeah. hidden things are yep, like yep. crazy. I mean, yeah, he really takes some time. So, th yep. 
And uh, so this is this is the only area where <laughs> you can find all the red <laughs> weapons. Yep. Um, Remember this. <laughs> but yeah, I created this because there wasn't many beach themed maps, and I was like, I love the beach, so I'm like, oh, why not? It's now, it's a this, little big. Yeah, I can see that for playability for sure. But uh, this gives you a nice tropical feeling, and you know what? Uh, I was thinking when I was here was uh, if you if you don't come here to play it. This is definitely a great hangout room, but it's also a great spot to have like somebody's birthday get together, um, which right. I've seen a lot of us doing. Like, let's go to the beach for your birthday. Okay, right. like here we are at the beach. <laughs> yeah, look, you got a chair down here. You can relax. In. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very like accommodating. <laughs> yeah, it, hang out here. It's funny. Like, I, actually, I created this as a hangout, but it didn't like I don't know how you get I actually I don't even know how you get hangouts off the ground. Because they, like, mm -hmm. show a couple of them. Uh, so no one ever liked it or I think ever played it as a hangout. So I just kind of, you know, used, deleted it. Okay. Um, but I, I do see it playing well as a hangout. I'm surprised. Like, I, I played, actually, with Arms Reach in a hangout the other night. And it was in town, which, um, you know, it's cool. But I'm just surprised some of the other builders have some really cool maps that would be awesome hangouts. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised they haven't taken I off. I didn't quite understand uh, Hangout when I was in there a couple nights ago. Um, and I was, like, shooting at people. And they're like, we're on the same team. We're friends. We're friends. And I'm like, why am I in here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't oh, yeah. oh, there's, it. There's, <laughs> it, it's hard to keep track. Like, I don't even remember if you're my friend or not. I don't exactly. know. Exactly. Like, I, I, like, I feel like you can shoot anybody, anyone Said. and everyone. And I'm just I, like, Impossible to get any traction <laughs> on your I just went around hangouts. killing everyone. Everyone's like, damn, space team. I hate space team. <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling me. I was making a lot of enemies, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're well, going to see um, my maps and be like, I hate that guy. <laughs> How do you get your maps noticed? Um, you you shared that uh, you do not have like a, a platform where you stream or anything like that. Where do you put uh, your content out there for people to check out? Yeah, so I'll go on Discord. I think there's a couple of Facebook groups occasionally. I kind of forget to post on there. Mm -hmm. I haven't really been posting on Discord, but like I, it, one thing nice about that custom lobby that we have every night is they'll play my maps and, you know, Dirty it's hard to get people to like them, but there's about ten people in there that Said. will usually like it. Okay. And, I know that feeling. you know, like Space custom death matches me. are really hard to get started compared to what they used to be. Okay. Um, so it's nice having like a group that I hang out with, and they play it, and they tell me if they like it. And actually, a lot of the other builders, um, anytime they create a new map, I'll have the Said. group play it, and they'll give me feedback. Me too, dirty monkey. Um, Great. Which a lot of times there's not a whole lot of feedback. And you mentioned that you welcome all kinds of feedback, whether it's good or oh, bad. Yeah. Um, you'd like to hear it to help you uh, build your maps and grow from it. Yeah, you, you just don't know. Like, I mean, you can have a concept, but like, and, and a lot of times it's good to just go into a hangout or like um, the playlist and play, pe play as people don't even know you're the builder. And right. then you'll get the truth out of people. Dirty like that, that's the best time. Sure. I mean, yeah, some people will talk, be talking some trash, and I'm like, yeah, keep talking. <laughs> this you know, map like, is crap. <laughs> I'm like, I agree. Who created uh -huh. this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must be super fun. I would love to do that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's oh. funny. I, I, I don't take it personal. Like I said, he, he, everyone has their own, you know, maps they love and like, and I totally understand. <laughs> Well, uh, let's give some shout outs to some of your builder friends, some of the people that have uh, helped you with ideas, with building, with pieces and parts that you were just like lost on, uh, who you Um, yeah. So can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, a lot of those top builders, I mean, I, I don't, I would say like uh, my closest builder friends and, uh, Pop One or DJ Noel, uh, Hincro, Searways. You know, I've I've hung out briefly with a lot of the builders, uh, like you know, more Cowbell and stuff. And all mm -hmm. the, all everyone's super nice. Like uh, they're they're all just really wholesome guys, and they all just love building. It's really a great community of like builders, um, especially in some of the groups. Um, but yeah, like you know, like some of, some of the people I look up to, like Al. Um, 30 monkey, you know, cowbell, 
and DJ and um Weller and I, I mean I mean there's so many. I'm like sitting here trying to like sort of guys if I left. Sounds you like out. my interview list this month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you picked some good builders, that's for sure. <laughs> well, it's uh, easy to find you all when you're all like clustered together all the time. Like, hey, space team. Who else should I interview? And you're like, um, how about Arms Reach? And I'm like, great, I already have them on my list. Yeah. Who else oh, should yeah. I? Interview? Do you have Do you have DJ? Because D DJ. I do um, not. You need to send me his he, info. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he's. I would say he's one of my favorite builders. Like okay. he, I, he just. Well, I would say I play with him, and he comes in the custom lobby, so I've gotten to know him quite well, and he's just a really great guy. Okay. Um, yeah. Get me his information and uh, give him a heads up. Uh, I'm going to be hunting him down. <laughs> that's for how sure. I do it. No, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hardest question of the interview. Are you ready for it? You already know what it is. Who is your favorite builder? Is he going to um, shy away from this and give me multi answers? D D oh, <laughs> oh, you mean uh, DJ Clown Bell? <laughs> 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 Wow! <laughs> You're like, who's that? I don't uh, know. <laughs> if you if you combine their powers together, they're the master builder. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. I, okay. I would I would say I would just because I know him so well and I really um, like his builds. I would say DJ. Okay. It, yeah. Well, I'll go with DJ. Yeah. Very good. Um, and then how much time like um, has free to play pop affected? you and your building or your feedback or anything like that um like playing pop um, well the free-to-play uh players that have come in we've got uh quite the big growth of players now oh gotcha, um, gotcha is gotcha. it is it helping you out with your bills is it uh been a positive experience for you on the builder side yeah so like i you know obviously this game like i, I have a different take like I think we need kids for this game to flourish. Mm -hmm. uh, so I try to be really supportive of kids. Like I would say I used to create my own custom lobbies and I would get tons of kids in and I would just be like, hey, like just, you know, try to be quiet if you can. If not, we'll have to mute or kick you. And, you know, we were all <laughs> kids once, you know. So, you know, I get it. You know, kids can be kids. Um, but yeah, so I play that adult only and sh she'll kick if a kid comes in. I'm always like, sorry. <laughs> we have to kick you. Um, so I, I'm mostly playing there, to be honest. So I, at the moment, I don't get a lot of the Arms people that are underscore. free to play. Um, but I, I kind of wish, like, I, like I said, I used to great. like create custom rooms so kids More could come in and, like, you know, if they're respectful, said, they could stay and have a good time. DJ is awesome. I feel bad they get kicked all the Dirty time. Monkey, you know, like, 78. If I was younger, I would for Said, sure be on this game. You know, my DJ mom would DJ is a good builder. <laughs> Very Tote good. Inspires. Well, do you have uh, Said, more builds that you'd like to show ha -ha. me? I have a couple more Dirty questions Monkey, to 78. ask Said. Yeah, let's see. I mean, Best I have... answer. Uh, Dirty I'll show you my first one. So Said. This one was. That's a new question. Kurt this one's called <laughs> Skippy. You that, huh? You caught that was a new question, Dirty. <laughs> and uh, Mark Hurst, hello. Thank you for hanging out on the Facebook side. I appreciate you guys hanging out on Facebook, Kick, and Twitch as I'm uh, getting towards the end of my interview with our Sandbox Builder Space Team. Here we are in another one of his builds. Let's talk about this one. So this was my first build. So this is the one I came in. I didn't know what I was doing. And I, I just, you know, I love space. So I was like, for sure. So th this is called Skippy. And this is another audiobook series that's probably one of the most popular sci fi audiobooks. Mm -hmm. It's about this like AI beer can. And that's what that thing in the center is. And it, it's another like hilarious. It's more of a serious book, but he calls us like all dumb monkeys. He's like the super advanced AI, and it's it's pretty funny. <laughs> um, so th this was kind of based off of that. Like it's supposed to be like a battle. It's it's way too big. So I like if you come up here to the top. Arms reach I, you know, I loved uh, Ready Said. Player One. Which have mm -hmm. you seen that Are movie? Are you feeling oh, queasy yeah. yet? Uh, when so I watched the, that the audio... movie, I was like, gosh, I hope they come out with a game that's like that for us soon. And then. Uh, oculus 2 came out and i was like 
yes. And then I found Pop One and I was like, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Ready Player One had a huge impact on uh, me playing this game. <laughs> Yeah, the, the book itself is, if, if you want an audio book, like the book itself is a million times better and the audio version is amazing. So I created these Easter eggs, like oh, kind of like the thing where you could, so you could find, yeah. you could find these Easter eggs. And there's a couple invisible walls where there was a bunch of red guns. If you Make flew over to them. <laughs> yeah. So, so like I, I said, I this map was confetti. way too big. <laughs> I like the confetti yeah. in uh, the the mix map, uh, the like stadium uh, mix map that you guys did. The confetti with the trophy, the banana confetti that was cool too. <laughs> I love confetti yeah. looking stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a girl. Nice. I'm I like sparkly things, guys. <laughs> yeah. So this was actually hard to find because. You actually had to climb these circles oh, to like climb up what? there, and then you had to fling yeah. yourself up there. So it's kind of really hard to get up there. So this, that's why I made it kind of tough. Okay, this is the exact reason where heights doesn't bother me, but uh, space themed rooms freak me out. I don't think I could do this <laughs> if I put this in play mode and I tried this. I I probably would have a panic attack. <laughs> you should come down here in the zone. These are the zone grenade area and just stand uh -huh. on this ledge right here. <laughs> uh, well, the, the height's okay. I'm okay with the height. It's like when we get into the nothing, I can't handle that. I don't know why. I, don't, I have yeah. some irrational yeah, I understand that. issues. <laughs> yeah. If you can fly to something from falling, that's cool. But if you keep falling and you keep falling and you keep falling, nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I saw a couple maps that are just like where you fall the entire time. <laughs> like uh -huh. you would not like that. <laughs> Gosh. So yeah, th this one is even 20, 12 on 12. It, it's, mm -hmm. I might like take this and shrink it down really small. Um, or maybe I don't even know if I'll republish this. I kind of unpublished it. I hear you flying around. It's really weird. You have an audio around oh. your avatar, and it sounds like you're constantly flying. <laughs> oh really no! Weird. Did that just happen? Yeah, it just oh, no, started. That, that's a glitch. That's a glitch that happens sometimes. Oh okay. That's I've never experienced <laughs> it before. It's kind of weird. I'm like, ooh, yeah. you sound and pop. <laughs> If I cool. take it off flying, it, oh, does, yeah. did it go away? It went away. Okay. How weird. Okay. okay. <laughs> Any other maps but, um, you'd like to show me? Let's uh, talk about arms your reach biggest underscore. moments of Said. building in Sandbox. Space team uh, has a flying glitch. To Ask him to stop flying and then uh, start flying the again. You've built around yourself Click the joystick. Building. What is it that brings you back to the build mode and uh, sandbox every day? I've played this one. <laughs> yeah, so this was part of the competition. It was like an existing map, mm -hmm. uh, and we kind of just made it our own. So I just tore the map apart and added some aliens. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I actually like building pirate battle. Um, you play, have you played that one? No, haven't. Pirate battle. Wait, oh, maybe I have. We can go to that one. Yeah. You might have. Um, but I've been in so like many maps. doing that with Hidden Crow and Seer Ways was, you know, it was fun. Like, you know, just like hanging out and building. Um, and, and just hearing people, like, I love. You know, not like from an egotistical standpoint, but I love hearing people like, oh, I love this, you know, like it's it's nice when you like put time in to hear people's like appreciation for mm -hmm. maps and to be able to just like create something people can like get in and enjoy is pretty awesome. I really yes, like. this is the one that I camp all the time um, down here because you've got loads of weapons and I just stood down here and they respawn you guys. I just stood down there and kept collecting uh, the launchers and kept blasting them off over and over again. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> no, that's, that's always fun to do. Mm -hmm. All right. Are these fake... They are fake windows. Look, they're the ones that he just showed us how to build, you guys. Easy peasy. I have played this one. Okay, yeah, I like this one a lot. <laughs> this one is a good play. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so like hit, Hidden, Hidden Crow wanted to create like a sh pirate ship thing, and then he kind of built a ship, and then Tyrion was like, we can do better. <laughs> so, mm. so, 
you know, we kind of all, you know, Sirius built the ship. Me and uh, him, Crow, like, I built the like the hammer heads and a lot of the, like the detail, like the coffee cups. And this, this is the one you can this... get shot out of the canyon. Yes, yeah. this is the one you can go out of the canyon. Um, but like me, me and like this thing over here. I didn't notice that before. Hopefully, there's nothing down here. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The, the squid you don't like squids <laughs> Ooh, we'll look at it from over here yeah hidden crow did that one he did a good job Ooh. on that all right we'll just go down here and i'm not going to look in that general direction as my headset can look at it and i'll just kind of close my eyes for you guys <laughs> oh my god you all like uh eating squid no i <laughs> My whole face right now is really hot and sweaty from just looking at it. I I have no explanation for my irrational fear of squid. None at all. But they're the aliens they're the aliens of the sea. Every I mean it's oh so cool. God. Yeah, I am I'm actually teary eyed right now from looking at it. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Well, you don't have to go Let's down there if you don't want to. <laughs> Said Oh man! A kraken and a squid in uh, back. But this one was fun to build. Tipsy. Like you know, we kind of we would build detail, me and Hincrow, and then Sirius would make it more budget friendly because we would mm -hmm. add too much detail, and you know, it, it, it was a fun build. Yeah, but the Dirty details Monkey are 78. just phenomenal. They're, Said they're lovely. <laughs> I'm adding squid yeah. to every one of my. Yeah, actually, I wanted my to take this goodness. map. Goodness, Dirty Monkey, no. <laughs> gonna add squid to every single one of his maps <laughs> just a little off. baby squid <laughs> in a 3pl 3z right. said oh very cool squids in space <laughs> squids in space yeah there you go guys <laughs> god i'm so easy to pick on all of a sudden <laughs> oh. all right any last maps you want to share um this, I'll show you, this is another like quick build um, that actually have, I've only, we've only Rick. played this once. Thanks for following. Hello on Facebook. Wrapping up my interview here with Space Team with the Sandbox Population One builds. Look at this. So, so this was just like an asset only where I only uh -huh. used assets. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's just a model of the map and the maps up here, but. It's just like a floating city, you know. I just kind of just randomly put it, but it, it played pretty well. But I, I think we've only played it once in the group, so I haven't really focused. It was just for fun. Just, this is you know, fun. It was, it was pretty easy to build. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little floating islands with the assets on top. Yeah, it's like it's yeah, like that's the thing. Like kids could really just fun. come in here. Yeah, like I was just gonna say that. Like each one of these has its own like piece on the actual map. They are all very playable and uh, you can come in here and it's I can see this being super easy to play Pop yeah up. I made it really high fling so mm -hmm. if you like that Ooh, I do like know. that yep <laughs> high fling and yeah. rockets that's my thing <laughs> yeah, I love rockets I mean I, they've been glitching out and like a lot of it's created a lot of issues but they're probably mm -hmm. my favorite weapon at the moment the rocket <laughs> I did create a map where I decked out uh, the dance club and I made it a strip bar. I'm just saying that that happened. Uh oh, <laughs> I put holes That's in a, there and a dance. That is a floor. good idea. I know oh God, it was a good idea. I don't that. share that one very often. <laughs> so, so someone someone should put a bunch of those together and make like the ultimate strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, maybe I will uh, copy it and uh, create a little hangout for y'all. <laughs> Tipsy Tripsies Strip Club. I know, I already have the name for it. <laughs> Goodness. I mean, it could be a stripper name as well, you know, either way. Yep. Well, I did get it being a uh, clubber and drinker in my earlier age. Now that I've got children, I try to be a good... Uh, Adult role model. That's wholesome. <laughs> wholesome. wholesome lady. Uh-huh, that's right. I'm wholesome. I wear granny <laughs> panties and I know <laughs> too much That's information. why you come here on Pop 1. <laughs> come on to Pop 1 to let loose and strip down. <laughs> Go into Tipsy Tricks and strip up. Dirty oh, Monkey man. 78. That's awesome. Said a squid strip club. Squid Stop. strip club. 
He's gonna. He's totally gonna make a map. You shouldn't have gave away. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Funny. More cowbell five twenty. Said. Let's see. Granny panty map Granny panty coming map. soon. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Now I have said too much. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, so, so th this one I just... Th this was like a competition between me, Searways, and more Cowbell to see mm -hmm. who could build something in like 30 minutes. Uh, more Cowbell won. His was actually like a sheep thing. It was, it was a cool map. I hope he mm -hmm. republishes that. Uh, but yeah, I just took a bunch of you know assets and made them smaller. So it, it, it's cool. Like you know, it's kind of like Godzilla. Like it feels like you're in like separation mode when you're playing mm -hmm. it, separate mode. So oh yeah, look at how uh, cute everything looks. Cute. <laughs> and, and, and you can get in the buildings. Like sometimes it's hard to get out, but you can like actually like crawl into the buildings. Like um, <laughs> like this one, you can go inside and like shoot out of. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Oh. Yeah. Are we crawl inside this one? Yeah. Crouch mode. <laughs> I could see this one being fun too, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Nothing too. No, not much to it, but it, you know, it plays pretty well. Yeah, this would be fun. All right. Yeah. Well, Unless you have any other uh, items that you'd like to share, we're going to be wrapping up our uh, interview. Yeah, I think, I think that's about it. I mean, I have some Very more, good. but I mean, it's like I said, they're just the ones. Well, if you want to share them and get them out there, now's the time. Up to you. I'm giving you the floor. Uh, okay. Um, I'll show you this. So this one, there, there, there's um, a guy that all he makes is tree maps mm -hmm. <laughs> called Just Trees. Uh, so he had a competition, and I think me and Arms were the only one that entered. And then he um, he essentially wasn't supposed to include his map in the competition, but he did. So his won. But this was just like an easy like build, just to see what you could do Arms with just trees. Underscore. Okay. Yeah. So. Said. But it, it, it's fun. It, it, I'm you know, so plays glad you brought her here. And, yeah, there's not much. To Dirty it, Monkey but, 78. Um, okay. How did you said, texture this? Shout out to Ron. So that, yeah, that's just a texture. So that's just the round shape, and then uh -huh. if you look into textures, it's it's you'll you'll see it there. It's like it's kind of. Looks kind of camouflagey in the texture, but it's similar to the tree texture. Uh, which which one is it? As I'm scrolling through. Well, let me see. Is it near the bottom. Oh, is it? Near uh, that if you one? hit edit, it should it should be highlighted. Oh yeah, it is highlighted. Okay, so it is that one. Okay, cool. I, I've never used that one. I Coleman think it's always been 3, that in my brain, like said, too glittery, but I can see it's not Ron at all. Dignity. Okay. Yeah, you could use it for like a countertop, or like, I think someone's yeah. used it as a countertop before. Arms okay. reach um, underscore. But, yeah. yeah. Said. Yeah, but like I said, it I, I encourage like people to just get in, just granite, mess around. But like, it's you actually just, the you just never know texture. what's going to play well and what's not. And sometimes, usually everyone's first or second map's not the best, and then you just get better. <laughs> Just keep trying. My first map was the blank map. I saved it and I was like, uh, I'm done. <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> blank. That was my first map. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with it. I mean, there are some maps where it's like two buildings. I'm like, okay, we could maybe do better than just two buildings. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, yeah, I mean, but there's so many. Like, it's just the, the content of Sandbox. Like, I get Sandbox takes away from squads, but I, you know, I wish a lot of those people would get in. I know, I know there's definitely some people that love squads and some people that love TDM. There's, like, definitely a split there. Like, some people sure. either love one or the other. Um, like I said, I, I, I focus more towards TDM just because I like that. It's very fast-paced. Um, I do need to go into squads every once in a while because, obviously, you get better and you're, you're obviously more skilled if you're playing squads. Yep, you got to keep your gameplay up as well, so... Yeah, well, sure. base team, uh, thank you very much 
for your time, letting me spend with you this afternoon on uh, all of your builds and maps and more cowbell five twenty. Um, I hope that Said. we continue to see you building. We need and, a real uh, sandbox, Royal. I just Royal. appreciate uh, being able to interview you today. So thank you. Oh, it's been great. Thank you so much for doing this. Absolutely. All, I know all us builders love it, so I appreciate it. Well, I hope it inspires new ideas for new builders, but then uh, everybody that I'm interviewing, uh, I hope that it continues your uh, drive to keep these things going because that's what our goal is, is to keep Pop One moving forward. Uh, and I think you guys have a great head on that. Uh, I think you guys do a great job of just keeping that uh, interest. Arms Everybody reach has underscore. a different favorite gameplay. Everybody Said. has a different mode. And this is yeah, many we're of all our digging these interviews. one players' favorites. Thanks so, so much for having job. us. Coleman Der 3000. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Said. Yeah. We are going to go awesome ahead source, and say, space team. Oh, thanks everybody. <laughs> We're going to go ahead Bye. and say goodbye to space team. Coleman uh, 3000. Go back to the lobby. Said. Thanks space team. Bye. You rock tipsy. Yeah, thank you so much. It was great. See ya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it always gets really noisy in the last couple minutes. Um, so here's what we got going on this weekend. First, I want to say thank you to everybody who rolled 520. in to Facebook, Kick, Said. and Twitch. Another uh, great you guys interview hung in the books. out and you did a great, great job, job you uh, being chatty and being quiet to hear the answers. And uh, thank you for your engagement. So um, thank you so much for uh, Lady and Janet. Uh, you guys popped over on the Facebook side, and some of you are lurking. Let's go ahead and recognize the lurkers are a big part of a stream, and I appreciate you for hanging out, whether you're just listening or making dinner or spending some time with your family, or you're just a tipsy fan and you wanted to give me the view. So thank you so much for being here as well. All right. I got to give you guys the schedule for this weekend. For those of you that don't know, I've got nonstop interviews every single day for like the next entire week. Uh, we've got two tomorrow, uh, and I am Pacific Time. Uh, my Pacific Time interviews tomorrow are three and five, so let's see, that's five and seven Central Time, and an hour later for Eastern. And then uh, we've got two on Father's Day, where one of them is a builder interview. Uh, that's at five o'clock Pacific, so seven o'clock Central. Uh, I am doing a uh, Population 1 streamer interview for Father's Day. I'm going to be doing Devil's Reaper, my other half interview. Um, it's going to be a relaunch. It's been such a long time that he asked me for a new one. So then we've got another one on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday next week. And I've also got several more to book. So thank you for keeping me busy. All right, my goal from here, though, is to find you guys somebody playing Population 1 to send you to. Somebody who's, let's see here, um, quiet or noisy or inspiring or uh, maybe somebody who Dirty is Monkey 78. super toxic. No, I'm just Said. <laughs> Dirty Monkey on Monday. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to send you to someone uh, to someone in population one. Let me pose this idea to you guys. Um, I've got an older son who just started streaming and he is uh, working on being affiliated. He's right now playing Phasmophobia. So that is the scary, uh, scary VR game. It's not population one, but he's got everything he needs except for follows. Would anybody in chat be interested in following uh, on Twitch, my Twitch viewers, uh, following me over to his stream and throwing a raid his way so you guys can check him out and say hello to my oldest son? What's the vote there, guys? More Cowbell 520 said, support the kiddos. All right. I'm going to love this. He's probably going to be all embarrassed. Arms reach underscore. Make sure you're really noisy. Said. <laughs> Your son. Yes. Absolutely. Son. So um, I had him at a very young age. He is now 21. He's in college and uh, wrapping up, I think, his last one or two years of college. So uh, he's been a gamer his entire life, uh, very much like his mom. Uh, he likes a lot of flat screen content. Uh, he does play Population 1, so if you Dirty go in Monkey there and you 78. want to uh, 
ask him about him Said, playing some pop one on stream. I'm in. I've you been support trying to nudge us. him, so okay. we will repay it to him. Ah, oh, well, let me get you going over to him then. Let me pull him up here. And uh, his name is the Wiley Zero One. He has a coyote uh, for his logo. He's also on YouTube uh, the same way. So, I can't wait to catch you guys on my next Builder interview. I'll catch you guys all on the flip side. Have a great evening, and I'm, we're going to go ahead and 520. get this raid going towards the wide Said, one. Is he Super Mario Baby? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could call him Super Mario Baby. <laughs> He's the, he does speed runs and stuff like that. He's amazing at gaming, you guys. He's amazing, so... Feel free to ask him what kinds of games he likes to play and be really noisy in chat. Here we go. Have fun.